What up donkeys, Jack Hayes here with jackhayes.com and I'm here with another roulette system. This one is an original. This is from Discord user Kotato. This one has not been reviewed by CEG and it is called Dozen Hopper. It is a low limit system. You only need $260 to buy in. And let's just go ahead and get started. With the $260 buy-in, you are using $5 units. With this system, you're gonna bet a $5 unit on two different dozens. I'm gonna bet on the second and third dozen. And let's go ahead and spin. No more bets. You can pick any of the two dozens and you can pick columns if you want to as well. Here we hit the second dozen. And the reason it's called dozen hopper is because when you miss, you switch that dozen. And because the center doesn't hit, we're gonna repeat that bet, but we're gonna flip the other dozen bet and bet on the first dozen. And let's go ahead and spin. No more bets. So that is a first dozen win. So we are gonna repeat that bet, but we're gonna flip the other one. And go ahead and spin. No more bets. When you win, you win half of your total bet. Since we are betting two $5 units, we win $5 as we did just here when we hit that seven. So we are gonna repeat that dozen bet and we're gonna flip the other one and spin. No more bets. Twenty, that's a win. So we haven't lost yet. But when you lose, you do increase your bet. You're gonna double your bet on each bet plus another five dollar unit. So let's go ahead and spin. No more bets. I'll show you what that looks like. So that's a win on the second dozen, and we're gonna flip the other dozen and spin. No so we are starting bets. out with a $10 bet. If you lose, you're gonna to progress to $30. And if that loses, you're gonna to progress to $70. And then if that loses, you're gonna to go to $150. That's two $75 bets. So we just hit 11 and we're gonna flip the other dozen bet spin. No more bets. So five on the first dozen that hit, and then we flip the other dozen. No more bets. That's another win. No more bets. So Kotato suggests leaving when you're up $100 or 20 wins. So we just won on the third 12 and we flipped that first one to the second. No more bets. I had a starting balance of 2,040,000. So it's easy to see that we are up 10 units right now, $50. So we hit on that second dozen and we flipped that third dozen to the first. No more bets. We're on fire, man. We repeat that second dozen bet and bet on the third dozen. No more bets. So when you hit zero or double zero, you're supposed to just repeat the same bet, but you do use your progression. So here, we're gonna bet $15 on each. And we're gonna respin. No more bets. Oof. So now we double that bet and add another five on each bet. So we're gonna bet 35 on each. If you enjoy watching system reviews like this, you can go to my website, jackace.com. I have a list of over 200 roulette systems that have been reviewed by CEG and by myself. For a lot of them, I have my own video reviews of them as well. I also have a tool on my website called the Roulette Bet Analyzer where you can input your bets in Roulette. It'll tell you how much you're gonna win, what your expected loss per spin is, what your expected comp value is, how much equity you have on each number, and it'll show you a graph of your possible wins and losses for that system. No more bets. 36, we hit. So we hit the third 12. And now we're gonna to switch to the first 12. 
No more bets. Fourteen. That's a loss. So now we double plus one unit. So fifteen and fifteen. No more bets. Nine. That's a hit. And then we drop back down to the initial bet, which is five. And then we flip the other dozen to five. Ten dollar bet. Still. No more bets. Nineteen. That's a hit. So five, and then five on the third twelve. Let's spin. No more bets. With this system, you have an expected loss per spin of 53 cents on a double zero wheel and 27 cents per spin on a single zero wheel for that first tier, that $10 bet. We just hit two, which is a loss. So now we're going to double up plus one unit. Double up plus one unit. $30 spin and let's go. No more bets. So that's a loss. Double up plus one unit each. So that's 70 and spin. No more bets. That's another loss. So here's where things get a little sketchy. We are at our fourth tier. This is the highest tier. And we're going to spin. No more bets. Twenty-eight. That's a hit. So we haven't recovered the full hundred and ten dollars of what we bet to that point. We only won back seventy-five of it. So now we're only up twenty-five. We're gonna rebet that dozen and flip the other dozen to the first dozen. Let's go ahead and spin. No more bets. So this is where it makes it difficult to climb that ladder because you don't necessarily end up in a higher position from when you started a progression. So here we lost, we got to double up and add a $5 unit on each. No more bets. $32, that's a hit. And then we can drop back down to one unit. No more bets. That's a win. Bet the same dozen and flip the other. No more Hop bets. the other. Twenty-four. That's a miss. So double up. Plus one unit. No more bets. With this system, you have a sixty-three point two percent coverage of the field. That's on double zero. On single zero, you have sixty-four point nine percent coverage of the wheel. So we got to double up and press another five and we're going to spin no more bets 31 that's a hit but there we only win 35 so up to that point we bet 10 then 30 but now we regained 35 so we haven't recovered the full 40 dollars loss but we did hit the third dozen and we're going to hop the second dozen and spin no more bets 'll we'll just do this a couple more times and I'll give you my assessment of this system five hop that third dozen to the first and spin no more bets that's a five dollar win I'm gonna bet five and hop to the third dozen no more bets. Maybe just do like two or three more spins. 16, that's a hit. Keep that. Hop the third to the first. Spin. No more bets. 21, that's a hit. And we'll just do one more. Last no more bets. Here.
Well, I just lost, so now we have to go through the progression. Let's double up and 5-5. Five, five. No more bets. And that's a recovery. So we are up $55. That's a total of 11 units. My assessment of this system is that I really like it. I think I would give this a B, a peach. I think I have to come up with my own grading scale for systems that haven't been reviewed by CEG. I don't want to start using their peach and grapefruit and all that. What kind of theme should I be using? Let me know in the comments below. But I give this a B, basically the second highest score. I like it because there's not a lot of risk to it. You're only risking $260. That's not a lot of money in the grand scheme of things. That's 52 units and you can withstand up to four losses. I don't like when you win your big bets, you're actually not recovering all of your losses. I, sometimes it's only a partial recovery. I don't like that aspect of it. But I do like that you have pretty good coverage of the field, but you're not risking five to win one or eight to win one. You're only risking two to win one. And I do like that this system can scale upwards or downwards. You can divide by five. You can multiply by two to have $10 units. You can multiply by 20 to have $100 units. One thing I do want to mention though is that you don't necessarily need to hop the dozens. It doesn't do anything for you statistically. It doesn't change or improve your odds at all. So if you bet on the same dozens, your results will be the same over time. You can also pick columns instead of dozens. It doesn't really matter. If I were to play this system, I would just pick the same two dozens and just bet them over and over. And if I were to tweak the progression, I would probably make it so that when you win, you recover all of the previous losses and end up one unit ahead. So what do you think of this system? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoy content such as this, remember to like and subscribe. Always gamble responsibly. Never play triple zero roulette and peace out donkeys.